Hey, hello everybody. <clears throat> okay, so today I want to start to show you the different things that we can do with um, iRig Pro. Well, first of all, uh, iRig Pro, it doesn't replace iRig HD. It's a little bit more expensive, but it does a lot more. Um, what, it, the, what iRig Pro will do will allow you to connect the microphone uh, via the XLR here. And you can also connect the condenser microphone and switch on the phantom power so you now can use your condenser mics the great thing about this is it's crystal the audio is crystal it's crystal clear and it's brilliant but it, it's great because it also comes with a 30 pin connector for your iPad 2 and 3 and um, a USB connector for your Mac uh, it doesn't work with PC but there you go and also the uh, lightning connector okay so for your ipad 4 which we're going to use here and it also has a midi cable so you plug this into the you plug the small jack into the midi in on the side of the irig pro and you plug this end into the midi out on your keyboard now if you've got a keyboard i've got a couple of keyboards that don't work is MIDI controllers, USB MIDI controllers, so I can't use them with uh, the iPad. Although I've got a little Korg uh, micro key and uh, Artoria that will. Also, um, I have a MicroStation and a Roland GW8 which will also connect via USB, but the Novation Mini Nova and the Akai Miniac won't, so I can connect them using the MIDI on the iRig Pro, which is absolutely super. But what I'm going to do today to start with is I want to show you how to get your VSTs because, you know, before iPad, most people will have had VSTs on their laptop or their Mac. So I'm going to show you how to get uh, your VSTs into, uh, record them into your iPad via the iRig Pro. Now, okay, it's going to be a mono feed, all right, but we're going to take the stereo out and we're going to convert it into mono. So first of all, what we're going to need is, um, so let me get this, we're going to need a stereo with the mini 3.5 mil jacks. So we're going to need one of them and that will go into your output there. And then we're going to need a stereo to mono converter. All right, now I've got two of these uh, because I couldn't find the one at the time that I wanted. But um, I could now actually use, no, because that's mono to mono, that's right. So you need to make sure that it's stereo to mono. So this is a stereo to mono. So you plug the stereo in and that will take the feed down to a mono feed. And then you can just use an ordinary mono to mono quarter inch like that. Which then goes into here, which is the dual connector for XLR and quarter inch socket. So stereo out and convert it down to mono. Just don't take half a signal because that's all you'll get. You'll get half the sound that comes out and you want it in. Although it won't be stereo, you'll have all the signal there. And then we take our other end here, obviously, and we plug it into our iPad. Now you'll see that on here now, this little light here is glowing blue. When you have it midied up, this light will work each time you uh, send MIDI. <clears throat> so also we have this gain control on here which is incredibly handy now there is a gain control on the iRig HD as well but it's at the side okay so and it's not quite as easy to access as this now I've tried this with guitars and all sorts of stuff and it's just there is no noise nothing nothing and the fact that this will hook up so much equipment is just absolutely great so what we got now so we've taken our feed out of the computer this is my really, really old laptop, by the way, only used now for synths. It won't even connect to the internet. And it's Vista Home Basic, so, you know. But I did a lot of work to get it to work properly with the VSTs. Anyway, so we're going to open Cubasis here. And we're going to just close that for a sec. And we're going to uh, create a new project. We'll call it MIDI. Uh, no, yeah, we'll call it that, doesn't matter. Okay, so there we go. And now we want to select an audio track here. 
and we'll just go to routing mono input and um, let's see we'll have it we'll have it in stereo anyway because it doesn't really matter so we want to be able to monitor so okay so bear with me just a sec I know <coughs> I think I need to turn up my iPad So now uh, we can use the gain control. So here is the Korg M1, which is probably my favourite VST, and now we're gonna should be able to. So let's just uh, set the metronome up and just let's see how we get on here. And uh, okay, so And there it is. So let's just check that recorded okay. So let's create another audio track. Stop monitoring that one. Through this one, audio track two, mono input. Let's select it uh, as a stereo input again. And let's, <laughs> you see what I've just done? <laughs> Right. Oh, let's just uh, do another VST. Not that one. Now, of course, you're free to add effects. You can add more VSTs. You can just, what's really quick as well, now if we just lower the volumes on stuff, we could unplug this, jack our guitar in, bang, and away we go. So this is great. I'm gonna do one on the MIDI as well, because I was playing with the MIDI yesterday and it works flawlessly. It's really great. Um, and basically, you could hook up any MIDI controller. You know, if you've got an MPC or something, you're good to go. So anyway, guys, there you go. Quick look at, uh, first look at iRig HD Pro which I think is going to be uh, used, I'm definitely going to use it a lot because I can plug in uh, condenser microphones, um, dynamic microphones, anything that I can get a mono feed into like synths, VSTs, stuff like that. If, as long as I take the stereo down, I'm going to be absolutely fine. Alright guys, good one. <laughs> I hope you liked this. I'll see you later.